Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you for being there with me for every step of the way. Even when I took a break, y'all are still supporting me, which I truly love y'all for. So I really appreciate that. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you um are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction and also if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one or a friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it go ahead and give me a thumbs up like and even share on whatever on your social media favorites wherever you see fit once again thank you so much for stopping by my channel and i hope you're able to you know thank you for giving me love and support on my channel and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my video i mean the meditation music i'm listening to today it's called Attract Positive Energy, 639 Hertz. Raise your positive vibration, bringing positive changes by Nario Beats. And I will post that link in the description box below. I know I've used this a lot, but I just love this um, meditation music. It just brings in a lot of, you know, um, a lot of positive energy towards you, especially if you're trying to meditate and, you know, bring some good vibes in towards your way. Um, but today my video is about uh, Twin Flame 101, Hey Ocus, the sacrifice to get where you need and want to go. You know, there are so many sacrifices I had to do <laughs> to get, get where I needed to go. And I'm still, I'm still doing sacrifices, but it's for your better good. You know, I've had people, I love doing my one-on-ones. I love talking to y'all here. Um, I love doing video chats with people when I'm able to. Um, and even when they want to talk to me on, through email or, you know, they hit me up on Messenger on Facebook. You know, I love doing that. And it's just like, I always, like I, I've told y'all before in my videos, you know, since I was a little girl, I always wanted to be able to help the world. You know, my mom. And I mean, even my friends that I used to hang out with is, you know, God rest their soul does not even no longer here. They always said, you're going to have, you're going to do something positive in your life, to, you know, to help a lot of people, Rosalind. I hope you see that. And I'm like, I don't know what the heck you talking about. But at that time, I was so busy getting in trouble. I was looking at them like, man, whatever, you crazy. But I never thought like five or 10 years from now, I would have been able to do the things that I'm doing now. And it really has humbled me. It really has blessed me. Because it's like when y'all send in those comments, that's just giving me validation that I'm doing a good job. You know, I'm helping a lot of people in ways I never thought I would. But it's just like if I wanted to go ahead and further this, there was so many things I had to um just cut out my life and it's just like some people you know with us being um empaths like i said before you know you're a good one if you don't have no kind of addictions you don't have a drug addiction an alcohol addiction cigarette addiction you know weed addiction because i don't really don't feel weed is like a drug to me um it just depends on um you know if it's laced with something that's a whole different story but i don't know nothing about that but um you know it, it's just depending on the things that you you had to deal with you know, everybody has their own coping me mechanism, but it's just like if you are doing any of those things and you want to say you want to be a YouTuber or whatever. I mean, there's a lot of successful YouTubers out there and um, but I can't go off of what they do. I'm going off of what I do. I had to give up drinking. I had to go. I had to give up cigarettes. I had to give up marijuana, you know, and it's just like going on three months now I'm going for it and I'm so proud of myself for that because it's like I had to deal with everything I'm dealing with straight sober head on you know either I, I start you know I write down things or um listen to music sing I love to sing or um just making my videos you know that's a personal outlet let myself you know because just like there's people going through the things you're going through but you know i had to be able to sacrifice things watch how i go off and um not really snap you know because I, I have that anger issues 
at times and it's just like I'm still a work in progress on that there's things I had to let go of you know I'm still letting go of I'm still healing from you know because losing my dad was a, a lot to me so it's just like sometimes I have some of that anger towards my family which I said you know um, I let go of but obviously I have it but I'm still working on that you know you have to be you know you have to be, tr be truthful in your faults you know that's you know I love the fact that people tell me Rosalyn I respect the fact that you're real you know you I'm, I'm just an ordinary person just like the next person you know it's just you know a lot of people just keep their skeletons in their closet about their past or anything they're not proud of but me I'm just an open book when it comes to stuff like that I'm not an open book when it comes to everything but when it comes to things that you know I let people know none of us is perfect we all have got things that we did in our past or probably done stuff recently we're not really proud of but it's just how you are able to accept that fault how you're able to you know admit you're like that because I know there's some people they'll be like oh I'm not like this oh I'm not like that and they are you know and it's just like I had to be able to give up those things you know if you anything you want in life and you know it's not healthy for you or no longer serving you it's just like your thought patterns I'm still working on that but like I said I'm a work in progress but it's just like I'm learning you know because it's just like when you get upset about things things from your past or things that you're going through are going to resurface and that's why I was talking about in the other video this guy named Jay um, he does a lot of motivational uh, videos on YouTube and I really love his videos I mean he had me in tears on certain things because they were hitting home and I'm just like dad you know I'm, I'm you know I'm finding me some content because I'm like I'm asking universe look I need me some content where am I gonna get this from because I wanted I didn't know if I was gonna do videos today because I was I was up in my feelings about different things that I'm going through right now but you know that's life you know you have to be able to laugh at things like that because you know things are going to come at you all crazy you know especially when you're heading towards bigger and better blessings for yourself so it's just like you're going to be constantly being tested but it's just the way you know i said i'm this is a new year even though it shouldn't take a new year for you to be changing you can do that anytime you want to but i'm just saying you know with new year starting you don't want to have to do the same little crazy stuff you were doing you know the year before you know letting go of things um not you know that's not serving me there's a lot of people i had to get out of my life you know and i said i still send blessings to them even though i don't talk to them anymore i said i wish them the best but i have to dis distance myself because it was just like for me as being an empath we always see we always want to see the good in person people you always want to see oh okay that you know they just need that guidance in their life but you know I also had to be like okay but they have to be willing to help themselves at the same at that same time or they have to be willing to change you know like you're trying to change but it's just some you know people don't have that same mindset like you do so it's just like I had to be able to learn to let them go even though it was killing me to let them go it would have been killing me worse if I would have stayed in that situation so I just like you know what I know my worth you know you only can keep saying the same thing over and over again to the point where you know look <laughs> they want to be stuck like that let them be stuck like that or they want to do you a certain kind of way and they don't have respect for you let them go and it's just like I love the fact that I make those sacrifices because you know when you know that you're accepting yourself in a certain way you know you demand respect like you want if you're giving these people respect you have to be able to get that respect at the same time and if they don't do that just kick it to the curb but if you know there's things in your life that you know you want you have to be willing to sacrifice a lot of things that is no longer serving you or it's toxic in your life or it's not healthy in your life because there you know there's people I've talked to on one on one you know like Rosalind I do this I did that and I did that you know and you know and my blessings not gonna come because I'm doing that I said I'm not gonna tell you stuff that you don't want to hear I mean that you think you want to hear I'm gonna tell you the stuff that is truthful you know no you ain't gonna be able to get stuff like that I mean yeah some other people might be able to do that but you're on a different path you can't judge your path and your journey with somebody else's you have to be concentrated on yours but if you know if you're using things in, as an escape and if you know I can see there's some people that have cancer so you know they're they're smoking marijuana or some people got AIDS they have to you know smoke marijuana just to get that you know the the you know the appetites and stuff back so I understand that if you're using it for a medical purpose that's all well and good but it's just like 
but if you know you're using things to, for a coping mechanism or you know uh just an escape is never really good you know because if people ask me well Rosalyn you know I want to get this but you know I'm, I'm just having a hard time right now like I might want to get a drink I might want to get a cigarette and I'm like okay I mean it's up to you I can't judge I'm not judging you for what you do I'm not going to do that but you know you're being tested you know if you say okay I'm, I'm good I ain't gonna be able to go back to this no more you know God and universe <laughs> they gonna throw something in the mix just to say okay well I'm gonna see how how you gonna be able to take this how you gonna be able to deal because uh you saying you're ready then you're not gonna go back to your bad habits you know don't sit up here and pray to God um about removing things from your life and you turn around and going back to the same kind of you know, it's just like when you pray to have these people out your life and you're going back to, you know, getting with another person or dealing with that same person or dealing with somebody in the same kind of mind frame those folks are. Now, I remember seeing a post, like they said, God, um, don't pray to God. Um, don't go running back to the same kind of people that you pray God to get out of your life, you know, because it's just like things get exposed to us and, you know, different things are going on so you have to be able to sacrifice things if you really want things you know it's, it's going to be a give and take situation so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video i hope you guys stay love bugs stay blessed highly favored and truly love i'm sending um big prayers out for everybody um know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody praying out there for your better days and i would love to get to hear from you drop me a line even if it's about the positive feedback of the video or you're just up telling me about your impact to get and i'm you know or you can just let me know hey rosalyn i'm on the notification squad you know so i can give you a shout out and uh, the, who am I going to give a shout out to today? Keith Bush, much love to you. I hope everything is going good with you on the upper part of Georgia. I hope everything is safe. Sending you some love and blessings as well. And you know, I will see y'all in my next video. Much love to you. Peace and be wild.